Our scripture reading this morning is from Psalm 96, verses 1 through 3. O sing to the Lord a new song. Sing to the Lord all the earth. Sing to the Lord, bless his name. Tell of his salvation from day to day. Declare his glory among the nations, his marvelous works among all the people. And now let us welcome Higher Call. Good morning. This is truly the day the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. It's our privilege and our honor to be here this morning to celebrate your Harvest Festival with you and to celebrate the day that the Lord has made. And, and, and isn't it great to be in his presence? What a wonderful thing. I was, uh, I'm going to sh- save that for an introduction of another song. Um, this next song is a very special song to all of us. And... Uh, Scott, my brother Scott here does not, he's my Christian brother, not brothers, although we're both exceedingly handsome. <laughs> and humble. humble. And humble, obviously. <laughs> That's true, too. So uh, we all, know, I, I love this church, just many, many things already, but uh, uh, the welcome that we got this morning was unbelievable. I, we, I just want you to know your young kids, your youth, they came out, they, they helped carry our equipment, and we're going to bring them with everywhere we go. Because <laughs> the older we get, the heavier that stuff gets. So I heard one of them, as he was carrying in two big things, he said, 
I think I picked the heaviest things out there. And I said, yes, you did, and thank you for that. So we appreciate it. But um, just a wonderfully welcoming group, and it's so good to be back here in Uppsala with you. So Scott, why don't you uh, remind us what it's like to be a sinner in God's world? Because I think it applies to everyone, That's right. including us. If you could see what I once was, if you could go with me back to where I started from, then I know you would see a miracle, a love that took me, its sweet embrace. And made me what I am today Just a sinner saved by grace I'm just a sinner stood condemned to death he took my place now I live and breathe in freedom with each breath of life I take I'm loved and Just a sinner saved by grace. How could I boast of anything I'd ever seen? Or done, how could I dare to claim as mine the victories God has won? Where would I be had God not brought me gently to this place? I'm here to say I'm nothing but a sinner Thank you. 
Amen. What a great promise. What a great promise that has been given to us through the Holy Scriptures. Our faith is strengthened by messages like that. And, and His grace is really what we have. It's nothing that we do that gets us through the door to heaven. It's His grace that allows us to be there, that allows us to be free of sin, the sin that we're just naturally drawn to do. And uh, it's such an important message that we've got a few songs about grace, and here comes another one, one of our newer ones. I've been saved by grace My name is in the book of life And my sins are washed away Saved by grace I've been saved by grace It's not what I deserve But I'm saved by grace And I was alone in the darkness I could not find my way Jesus shined a light on me And then he turned all my night into day Now I am saved by grace I've been saved by grace My name is in the book of life And my sins are washed away Saved by grace I've been saved by grace it's not what I deserve, but I'm saved by grace. Now when I reach that city, the gates swing open wide. Oh, I'm going to sing redemption story of how he brought me to the other side. And when I reach that city, the gates swing open wide. I'm going to sing redemption story. Of how he brought me to the other side Now I am saved by grace I've been saved by grace My name is in the book of life And my sins are washed away Saved by grace I've been saved by grace It's not what I deserve But I'm saved by grace I've been saved by grace My name is in the book of life And my sins are washed away Saved by grace I've been saved by grace It's not what I deserve But I'm saved by grace Oh yes, I'm saved by grace I've been saved by grace my name is in the book of life And my sins are washed away Saved by grace I've been saved by grace It's not what I deserve But I'm saved by grace It's not what I deserve But I'm saved by grace it's not what I deserve, but I'm saved by grace. Saved by grace. Saved by grace. Saved by grace. I've been saved by grace. My name is in the book of life And my sins are washed away Washed away Saved by grace I've been saved by grace It's not what I deserve But I'm saved by grace It's not what I deserve But I'm saved by grace It's not what I deserve 
I alluded earlier to the warm feeling and the welcome, and even in the pastor's prayer as we were preparing, coming up here for this service, I heard him mention the importance of the scripture and the truth in scriptures, and how important it is that we follow the scriptures. And I don't know if you've sensed it or not, but in society today, and even in some churches, we're taking a back seat, putting the scriptures in the back seat, saying, they may not be as relevant as we thought they once were. You know, look how time has evolved and time has changed. And I, I just got to tell you, I'm not the, the most brilliant theologian, but God was present at the creation. God is present now, and God is going to be present throughout all of eternity. That's a long time, and he knows all and sees all. I think he knew what he was doing when he inspired people to write those holy scriptures. So I applaud this church for standing firm on those scriptures. They are the foundation, the rock that we build our faith upon. And that's what this song is all about, is standing on the promises of these holy scriptures. Some will say it's foolish, some that it's absurd, but still we choose to build our lives upon God's holy word. We know it's always perfect, we trust it in all things, it's holy and it's right, so whatever this life we stand on what is timeless, we stand on what is true, we stand upon a shame no matter what the world may do. We stand upon this rock, spoken by the Lord of all, and no other lies build on sand. be in fashion it may not be in vogue but when we look at empty lives all around we know we can live pursuing power thinking pleasure satisfies God's light cuts through the shadows revealing their just love we stand on what is timeless, we stand on what is true, we stand upon a shame no matter what the world may do. We stand upon this rock, spoken by the Lord of all, and no other lies built on sand. Resisting every wrong, let us read it and believe it. It's our only hope for standing strong. We stand on what is timeless, we stand on what is true, we stand upon a shame no matter what the world may do. On this rock, spoken by the Lord of all, and no other lies built on sand before. We stand, we stand. Oh, oh, oh. we stand.
nice full life. And if you ever look at your fingers and your hands and your elbows and your knees, and there's probably some scars there, right? From different things that have happened in life, surgeries, jumping over a fence as a child, uh, anything. <laughs> but you know, the Bible tells us that when we get to heaven, we will actually have new bodies. No more uh, ibuprofen, acetaminophen. <laughs> Scars, all gone. I'm looking forward to that day. In fact, if it was today, I'd be just as happy as uh, hopefully most of you are as well. But I want you to know that even though we'll have new bodies, no scars, there will be scars in heaven. Did you know that? I believe that Jesus Christ, so we can recognize him instantly as our Savior, will have the scars, his hands, his feet, his side, the crown of thorns, all that he went through for us on the cross. Those scars will be there, I believe, to remind us forever the immeasurable price that he paid so that we could be free to live in heaven forever. I'm just... It just uh, kind of chills me every time I think about all that he went through. For me, who's so undeserving. And I think if you really understand what Christ did for us, you would feel the same way. And I, I trust that you do. That's what this next song is about. He is forever scarred so that I can be forever free. When my pain is long forgotten And life struggles long since past When the ages turn to agelessness In the presence of the Lord When my stains and scars have been erased and perfect I can stand He'll have perfect imperfections Held as trophies in His hand Forever scarred So I could be forever Should have been for me. Oh, the mystery of such boundless love that He would choose to be forever scarred, so I could be forever. of righteousness he wore by sinner's stripes his robe was stained a crimson red so mine could be of one when all record of my wayward ways has vanished his wounded hands will still display the proof that I'm redeemed. Forever star, so I could be.
the group to you. I'm going to keep it real short, so I'll start right here. <laughs> this guy has been with us since 1995. He was six foot four and he had hair. <laughs> I don't know what we've done to him, but uh, the challenges are there. So I love him dearly. Uh, they're all great brothers in Christ and in ministry, and uh, so to say it about each one of them would be redundant. It'd be saying the same thing over and over again. It'd be repeating, oh, that's kind of what I'm doing. No. I'm... Anyway, our first tenor from Birdsville, Minnesota, Tim Marks. I guess this guy gets the uh, most miles traveled to get here. He's from Warsaw. Not Poland, yeah. <laughs> Warsaw, Minnesota, which is down by Faribault, for those of you who don't know. And uh, he's the newest singer in the group. Uh, but what a great, great addition he's been. Years and years of musical direction and expertise and uh, puts me to shame, I'll tell you that. Um, just a great addition and uh, a heart of gold for God. Our second tenor, Mark Douglas. You know, I can't let this go. I said a heart of gold. He's a jeweler. So he, yeah. I, there are many facets to his ministry. Don't encourage him. He tends to, Turn his mic down. Tends to outshine the... Oh, no, I'm sorry. <laughs> Douglas Diamonds, your forever diamond store. There you go. There you go. I owe him another 50 bucks. There you go. <laughs> and then this guy, I think we're at, I don't know, 14... 15, 13, who knows how many years. Just a, a wonderful, wonderful brother in Christ and a dear friend as well, which is, makes it even more special. Um, our baritone from Shakopee, Minnesota, Scott Whitehead. And the reason you can hear us is because of our sound technician not in the back. I don't want to say in the back. He's kind of in the middle of the room wearing a, a nice blue shirt uh, with glasses. I'm just trying to pin you down, John, so they, they can see who you are because you're so shy. Uh, a guy with decades of experience. We are so fortunate to have him with this ministry. Uh, he has traveled internationally on mission trips. I, I can't tell you how many different places he's been. Just a wonderful heart for God, and uh, we're so happy to have him with us. From Mendota Heights, John Ide. And every group has to have their man in black. So down here on the end, we have uh, Dave Waller. Dave is the founding member of the group, the only one, the only founding member that's left, and the ministry started 30 years ago. 1993 was the uh, first year. And uh, so Dave sings bass, and he also comes from Shakopee, Minnesota. I was 10 when we started. <laughs> All right, well, we talked about grace. How many of you know a song called Amazing Grace? Oh, come on. <laughs> very good, very good. I was, was going to question the music a little bit if they don't know Amazing Grace. Oh, we're not singing that. <laughs> no, wait, wait. 
just we, a part. We do sing yeah. a little bit of it. All right. But this is kind of a new look at that old amazing grace that has made us all new people because of our faith and acceptance in Jesus Christ as our Savior. Hey, Dave, that reminds me of a verse. Keep it going. If any man be in Christ, he's a new creation. Old things have passed away. You know, all things have become new. I'm a new, new man by old amazing grace. Got a new, new story turned a new, new page. On that old, old cross, Jesus took my place. Made a new, new man by old amazing grace. It's an old, old story in an old, old song. But it's just as timeless as the morning dawn For the Lord still reaches over time and space He makes new, new lives by old amazing grace I'm a new, new man by old amazing grace Got a new, new story turned a new, new page On that old, old cross Jesus took my place Made a new, new man by old amazing grace. What a wretch I was, and what a wretch I'd be, if the Lord's amazing grace had not reached me. Through His blood forgiven, by His grace I'll stand. He took this old lost sinner, made a brand new man. Brand new man. I'm a new, new man by old amazing grace. Got a new, new story, turned a new, new page. On that old, old cross, Jesus took my place. Made a new, new man by old amazing grace. Not by any works of righteousness, nor by anything new I had Not done. By, new, by the done. old, old grace that the Father gave. I'm a new, new man by old amazing grace Got a new, new story turned a new, new page On that old, old cross Jesus took my place Made a new, new man by old amazing grace On that old, old cross Jesus took my place Saved a wretch like me I once was lost but now am found Was blind but now I'm a new, new man by old amazing grace Old amazing Well, hopefully by now you've gotten to know us enough that you know that we love Jesus Christ. We've accepted him as our Savior. He is the foundation of the ministry. His ministry that he has put us in charge of, humbly, known as Higher Call. We love Jesus. We also love our country, the United States of America. Not so united right now. We'll get through this. Things go in cycles. No politics from me this morning, although I have plenty to share, but no politics. I, about, I don't know, six weeks ago, I was fortunate enough to be able to see the Gaither Vocal Band perform. And this guy named Bill Gaither, I, I've never heard of him before. No, I'm teasing. <laughs> Bill Gaither comes out, and I have to give him credit for this. He said, folks, there's a hole in the heart of America right now that can only be healed by Jesus Christ. How profound that message is. A hole in our heart, medically, is a big, big deal. Spiritually, even more so. And Jesus Christ is the only thing that can help that. So we love our Lord and Savior. We love our country. 
We want to at this time acknowledge anyone who's served our country through our, our armed forces. Anyone at all, if, you, if you're here today, please stand so that we can recognize you in your service. Thank you so much. You are what has helped make this country what it is, what it has been, what it is, and what it will be in the future. We got a little song for you. Cause the flag still stands for freedom And they can't take that away And I'm proud to be an American Where at least I know I'm free And I won't forget the ones who died Who gave that right to me And I gladly stand up next to you and defend her still today cause there ain't no doubt I love this land God bless the USA From the lakes of Minnesota hills of Tennessee across the plains of Texas from sea to shining sea from Detroit down to Houston and New York to LA there's pride in every American heart and it's time we stand and say greatest country in this world. That's why everybody wants to come here. And this country was founded on Jesus Christ. Let us never forget that. Well, again, I've spoken too much, so let's just go on to the next song, please. heard it all my life, even had it memorized, but it was only words to me. Red letters on a page, just something people say, 
till it brought me to my knees. Those words in John 3, 16. For God so loved the world he gave, gave his only son away, a way to save a wretch like me. Grace to cover every stain, stains that he no longer sees. It's amazing to believe God so loved the world means even me. How could he see my sin and forgive me even then? Who would pay that kind of price? I've seen what mercy does. He found me where I was. And he gave his life for mine. For God so loved the world he gave. Gave his only son away. A way to save a wretch like me. Grace to cover every stain, stains that he no longer sees. It's amazing to believe God so loved the world means he. only son away a way to save a wretch like me for God so loved the world he gave gave his only son away a way to save a wretch like me the one who needed grace grace to cover every stain stains that he no longer God so loved the world means He and me. God so loved the world means He and me. This introduction is a little too important to just pass by. We were on tour in Arizona and uh, singing for a group and I noticed a young man in front of us while I was preparing the table for the CDs, probably in his mid-30s, and you could tell he had some mental challenges. And I just kind of said a little prayer and we went about our time with our concert and I'm going to let Mark fill you in on the rest of what happened that morning. So we went ahead and song, uh, sang this song that I'm about to sing for you and uh, afterward um, this young man and his mother approached. I think I had an arm full of extension cords or something and, and she, uh, she said I want to tell you a story about that song. She says my son when he was younger he was uh, he pulled over on the road to help somebody that had had been pulled over for some reason and another car came by and struck him and that's why he had the uh, head injury and so she said in 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 doing so they they he was in a coma for a while i don't know how long and she said that uh every day when he was in a coma she would sing this song to him 
And when he came out of the coma, the first thing he did is he sang, Jesus loves me, this I know. Because that's the song that she sang. And so as soon as she said that, he broke out and Jesus loves me right there. And I sang and we had a little trio going and it was kind of cool and, and neat. But, you know, it seems like the first reaction when I think of the song, Jesus loves me. Oh, that's a, that's a song we sing in Sunday school and, you know, it's for the kids and whatever. But really, that, that song has a lot of profound theology in it. And that is, he, we love him because he first loved us. Without his love, he wouldn't have sent his son to die on the cross and for Jesus to give up his life on the cross. So we'll listen. We'll give you a little opportunity to sing the second chorus, too, of this song. So go ahead, John. Jesus loves me this I know for the Bible, it tells me so, little ones to Him belong. us all even if we don't acknowledge him he still loves us all with a heart bigger than anything else unconditional love john we're going to skip the next song no we're not we're going to sing the next song because i feel like getting carried away today <laughs> Oh, 
I'm gonna let the glory roll when the roll is called in glory. I'm gonna get beside of myself when I get beside the king that day. I'm gonna have the time of my life when the time of my life is over. I'm gonna get carried away when I get carried away. I never can shout about the love that floods my soul I must confess I can't express the feelings deep inside me The things I know and I cannot show one day will overflow I'm gonna let the glory roll when the roll is called in glory I'm gonna get beside of myself when I get beside the king that day I'm gonna have the time of my life when the time of my life is over. I'm gonna get carried away when I get carried away. When I pass the clouds, I'll shout so loud, it may sound like thunder. My tearful eyes may fill the skies until it looks like rain. When I leave this world, pass the gates of pearl and stand before my Savior. I let my soul let the glory roll from the road he calls my name. I'm gonna let the glory roll when the roll is called in glory. I'm gonna get beside of myself when I get beside the king that day. I'm gonna have the time of my life when the time of my life is over. I'm gonna get carried away when I get carried away. about that so I took Tim aside and I said hey Tim why don't you and I do that today he'd be in St. Joseph you'd be knocking on the St. Joe's meat market and they're closed on Sundays all right I got to be careful with time John we're going to skip the next one just because his love and his grace is so amazing let's sing here I stand amazed Knowing me from the beginning, still you chose to die. Knowing I would disappoint you, still you gave me your life. You knew the times that I would die, you, the times that I would fail. Still you chose the path to Calvary, you chose the cross, you chose the nails. Save me in all your mercy with no end. Astounded by your love, Lord, I just can't say enough. To you I will forever lift my praise. Here I stand amazed. an ocean of your saving love that I don't deserve and no limits to your grace so free it's nothing I have earned and still you're reaching out your nail-scarred hands rescuing mankind 
All creation sing your glory of your sovereign sacrifice. Amazed at all you've done to save me. In all your mercy with no end. Astounded by your love, Lord, I just can't say enough to you. not understand the perfection of your ways. Still I will lift my eyes in wonder. I will lift my voice and say Amazed in all you've done save me in all your mercy with no end. Just can't say no To you I will forever lift my praise Here I stand amazed Here I stand amazed Here I stand amazed Yes, I am amazed Here I stand Thank you so much. Amazed is a strong word, but uh, I know for me personally, 30 years now in this ministry, and I'm amazed at how God uses me and us, these broken vessels, for his glory. It's, it's just amazing. It's true with all of us, folks. If we get out of his way and listen to his leading, his direction, he will do amazing things through all of us. It's been our pleasure to be here this morning. Time has gotten away from us a little bit. We want to come in on time and uh, thank you. The songs we passed on are uh, amazingly good songs. If you want to hear them, we have CDs in the back. <laughs> but, but that's the only commercial you'll get from us. Uh, Tim, why don't you introduce this last song, please? Well, I do, I do, do love putting this song um, the last because it really wraps up everything that we've talked about. You know, Jesus loves us. He loves even me. And we are saved because of the fact that he was forever scarred for us. And that old amazing grace is just something that, that we just can't get enough of because it's from him. And one of these days, we're going to be carried away. We're going to fly away. We're going to be with him. And if we've been faithful to him, and if we love him and have served him and have accepted him as our Savior, he will say to us, Welcome, well done, my child. Welcome home. Come into my joy. And that's what this song is all about. One day when we stand before him, and I'm looking forward to that day. I don't know about you. But when we stand before him, I want him to say to me, well done, well done, my child. There may be a lonely valley waiting just around. Many trials will come before I reach my journey's end. But through them I'll be faithful and I'll walk in victory. Pressing toward the moment my father says to me well done 
trust that, uh, like me, some of these songs have been... <laughs> trust that one of these has been, uh, one of these songs has been very, very meaningful to you. For me, it was, uh, we stand. We stand on what is timeless. We stand on what is true, God's word. Um, I, I learned something this morning. I, I didn't know that you, you skipped songs in your, in your program, but I, I learned that you can do that. And so if my message ever gets to be going too long, I guess I can skip a point or two. <laughs> time, time is, uh, the time is too short, too short, yeah. Thank you for reminding us of the simple gospel. Yeah. 
And thank you for singing with such joy. Let's pray. God, for uh, what we have heard, for what we have received, for what has been given from your hand through these servants, we bless you and give you thanks. We thank you for the meal that we'll receive. We thank you for your grace so well expressed this morning. Lord, help us to, uh, to go from this place with renewed fervor in serving you. Increase our faith until all that you have in store for us, all that you intend for us to do is accomplished. And we go to be with you and you say, well done. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen.